Now let's discuss different ways to filter out the noise that comes with many time series objects as a way to figure out what significant trends exist which can drive consistent predictions. The first function we'll look at is Holtz Winter, which fits an exponential smoothing model to a time series. So first let's load the JJ dataset, which comes from the ASTSA package. And the dataset is quarterly earnings for Johnson & Johnson from the years 1960 to 1980 split up by quarter. I'm going to create a new variable using the Holtz Winters function with the data set as an argument. Let's see where that function exists. Ah, it's Holt Winters, not Holtz Winters. So let's try that again. When we look at that object, we're going to get a few different attributes, including smoothing parameters, different coefficients, and we can plot this object. Now the black line is our original series, while the red line is the smooth series. So it's a pretty good fit for the most part. Now we can also predict what will happen in the future using the predict function on this Holt Winters object by entering how many steps ahead we want to predict using the n.ahead argument. So I'm going to create a new variable called forecastjj, and we're going to use the predict function. With our Holt Winters object, I'm going to set the n.ahead argument to equal 12. So we're going to be predicting three years in the future. Now we can enter both the model and prediction as arguments into the plot function, and it will line them up very nicely. So this dashed line is where our observations begin and where our prediction into the future starts. You can see that it's probably pretty accurate. We won't know till we get that data. We can also add confidence intervals into the predict function by adding a couple different arguments. One of them is prediction.interval. We're going to set this to be true, saying that we want the confidence bands, and then we have to give it a confidence level, and we'll set that to be 95%. Let's look at the plot again. The model has 95% confidence that the future observations are going to be within these blue bands. And you can see as it gets further away from today's observation, the bands start to widen out. Let's check out another example. Let's look at the cumulative series of some random data. We're going to first turn it into an XTS object. We couldn't find the XTS function, so we need to make sure we load in the XTS package. Now it should work just fine. OK, so we have a new random data set as a time series. Before, when we were looking at the JJ data set, we were actually using a class TS object, not XTS, but TS. So to get an XTS object to work with the Holt Winters filtering, we need to set another parameter called gamma to equal false. So let's give that a shot. Here's how it would behave if we didn't set the gamma parameter for the XTS object. OK, now let's forecast this series. And of course, forecasting this series is going to be a little more difficult because it won't have such a clear pattern as this Johnson & Johnson data set. We're going to predict the Holt Winters filtering on the X data set, the end dot ahead parameter set to 20, prediction interval will set to be true, and we'll assign a confidence level of 95%. And now let's plot the original Holt Winters series along with our forecast. So this is our cumulative random series. You can see at time 500 that that's when our observations end and our prediction begins. And the confidence interval for that prediction widens out very quickly. And that makes sense because it's a pretty random data set. Although recently, we can see that there's a trend going up. So that much we can be confident of. In this lesson, I gave you an introduction to Holt Winters filtering, which can be very useful for seeing how confident you can be in your future predictions of a data set.